Hello, my name is Sai Zeng and I am 10 years old this year. Today I'll be showing you how to make a kiwi cake, but it's not an ordinary kiwi cake. It has kiwi in it and it tastes like kiwi, which has real kiwi in it. And it even looks like a real kiwi on the outside. That is really, really cool. The ingredients you need for this cake are one and a half cups of flour. And I've got a whisk, but you can use a mixer as well. I've got half a cup of shredded coconut, half a cup of sugar, two golden kiwis, but you can also have green kiwis. I've got two eggs, half a tablespoon of baking soda, 125 grams of butter, and half a cup of milk. The shredded coconut is totally optional. You can add it or not add it. For me, I find it more yummier, but it's really your choice. Firstly, I'm going to add the sugar. Then the shredded coconut. Again, this is optional. And then the baking soda. Now I'm going to crack two eggs. This part could get messy. Now I'm going to mix it. After you have mixed, it should end up like crumbs like this. And again, I used a whisk and it worked as fine as possible. Pour the milk, slowly pour it in one by one. And then mix. You don't want to mix it too fast or otherwise the combination might not work. It's alright if you pour it in too early. For the butter, if your butter is not melting, then you can use the microwave. I, I would predict to do it for 30 seconds. mixing it with the milk it should look like this sort of slime consistency now with the mm -hmm. melted butter pour it in now i have finished finished mixing it is very um slimy but just trust me it's the right texture now i'm going to add green food coloring to it it depends on how dark you want it to be. I would say five drops will be enough. Now I have finished mixing up the green food coloring. I'm going to add some sesame seeds to it and it's going to represent the seeds in the kiwi. I'm going to be using a fruit knife, which is also very, very sharp, so be careful. And if you are smaller, then you should have a parent beside you. Now I'm going to cut it first in the middle. And then I'm going to cut it like this. You can cut it any way you like. Then I'm going to scoop it out from here. I just chopped up the kiwis and it's a few but you can add a few more if you feel free to and right. okay I'm gonna use the kiwi spoon to help me get it into the big bowl it does slide sometimes now I put 
put it into the bowl and you don't have to mix it all the way in because if you leave it like it and you don't smoosh it then when you take a bite of the cake you can actually taste the kiwi slice of the kiwi it's finally time to put the cake mixture in but before we do that we have to brush it up so brush it up with oil so that it doesn't stick on when we try when we try to take it off I'm going to use sunflower oil but any oil is okay now I've put my oil in it's time for brushing of course you know it's safety first so that's why I've got my gloves on time to put it in the oven There, it's all in the oven now. Now it's to wait. It'll probably take 45 to 50 minutes, but just be patient. It finally finished baking and now we can finally get it out of the oven. Firstly, let me close the light. now and the next step is to cut the top of the cake if you found that your cake is too sh small to make a three-dimensional shape so that's why I have two cakes here and I'm going to cut off the top of the rounded part to make it so it can um, pile on top this cake can pile on top of this cake so I'm going to cut from the sides like this cutting. The next step is to um, melt marshmallows but if you don't have icing you can melt the marshmallows but probably icing will be best to stick them together. See how they will go on flat? After that cut around the sides to make the sides all equal. So I just finished cutting off the edges and you can see that the edges are green now since before I added the green colouring food. Now I'm going to add the marshmallows in between the two cakes. I just put the marshmallows between the two cakes and if it does stick to your fingers it's alright because you can just use some vegetable oil or normal oil to make it not stick onto your fingers. The next step is to carve it into the shape. The base of the cake is going to be where the, you, when you cut the kiwi, it's going to be the base like, like the green part. And then you're gonna carve it into this mountain shape for the rest, the, like the outside of the kiwi. So it's gonna be like this shape and then underneath it's the base. So as you see, I have carved it out and I have made it into a kiwi shape. And when you turn it like this, as you see, this is the outside of the kiwi where the brown part is. And this is the inside where when you cut it with a knife, it's green on the inside. And I just use marshmallows to help everything stay together, though you could use icing as well. I have made my very own fondant using marshmallow, icing sugar and vegetable oil. It's very, very simple. I have made a big brown one and a small green one. The next step is to get a board and a rolling pin and roll it out and stick it onto the cake. I just finished putting the fondant on and I think it turned out really good. Um, so as you see, this is it when you cut it it's green and this is the cover the like the side of the kiwi and inside i'm going to do some details like what it uh, actual kiwi would look like if you cut it in half um i finally finished and i'm actually really really happy of what it turned out 
they look so similar here and here. And I all I put was some sesame seeds and golden gel, and that's really it. And also, um, I put a sticker to make it more detailed. Of course, we all know that it's good. It's a good habit to tidy up your mess at the end of whatever you're doing. And I'm going to start off with the dishes I was using. Of course now I have to clean up all of these dishes, which as you see right here is a horrible mess. But I'm going to start anyway. I'm going to start the first dish. This could take a long time. the best part to dig in. I'm going to chop the back part so I can start from the back to the front. Now it's time to dig in and this is probably my favourite part. I really really want to know what it tastes like. I think it'll taste really really good. Mmm, it's really really good. 